gangsters. So we are in the first quarter of moon in Pisces, headed towards the half moon in Aries on the 17th. Um, I'm not sure exactly when you're watching this, but I like to throw that out there in case you're catching it right when I'm doing it. Uh, these readings are timeless though, so it's not specific to this timeline, all right? Time is relative, okay? Um, time is wonky, so... And, uh, you know, Thought the Atlantean once said, before we say time isn't real, I would like to throw this out there. Thought the Atlantean once said, um, in the beginning, there was a beginning, therefore time is real. And Thoth is my guy, that's <laughs> my deity, you know, so, uh, I vibe with that, you know, <laughs> I'm like, that makes logical sense to me. Um, the nature of time is very different, though, from our human perspective, right? So, yeah, let's see, because, I mean, it transcends um the third dimension you know it is the fourth dimension it's temporal right the fourth dimension is temporal which is time so uh yeah and that actually behaves perpendicular to our dimension in the third dimension if that makes sense um so time is not parallel to us time is not linear time is perpendicular to us so we just perceive it as linear it's weird as fuck now I don't know why I'm on this whole tangent about fucking time. But you know what? Maybe that's relative, okay, to, to what we're talking about in this reading. We'll find out. So, who are you? resilient bold and sassy this is actually my favorite card in this whole deck i love that this is what you're being represented by very fiery energy for an air sign right you might have fire in your natal chart um but i love this look at her stand she's just like i dare you <laughs> mess with me you know i like, was like she's ready for whatever um love that energy uh very proud of you gemini's um Gemini's are some of, uh, like, some of my best friends are Gemini's. I have never understood why people are hard on Gemini's, but I'm also an Aquarius, so they're hard on all of us, right? They're, like, people do not go gentle on us air signs, except Libra. Somehow they slip under the radar, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, let's see, what do you need to hear? Resilient, bold, and sassy. You are a strong individual. You're a tough guy. <laughs> um, I love that about you. Whether you uh, present yourself as a tough guy or not, I see that you have the strength of perseverance. Um, I see that you're kind of a no bullshit energy, right? Like, you're not one to deal with bullshit, <laughs> right? You ain't putting up with nobody's nonsense and if people bring out a negative side of you then that says a lot about them not really you you know and I think that's why I um vibe so much with Gemini's because like I don't I don't ever see that 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 side right I guess but also I don't go out of my way to bring out that side so you know whatever <laughs> I'm Team Gemini. All right, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> we home skillets. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we got King of Swords. This is your energy, right? The King of Air. You are an air sign. King of Swords is no bullshit, right? This hand in hand, no bullshit, right? He's got a sword up. He's like, I dare you, tread on me. <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> um, I see that there is an area where you might be up in the air about somebody. Um, 
somebody who doesn't look like they actually deserve your energy if i'm gonna be completely honest because um i'm seeing the judgment in reverse right like you're kind of up in the air still kind of like do i want this do i not want this is this a path i want to go down da, 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 da. um also this could be your near future energy if you're meeting somebody new what i am seeing here or this could be an ex that like pops back and forth and try and brings in that confusion or in that like uh, back and forth energy, right? Could be that because I'm seeing the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? This is a very immature energy. The Queen of Cups is very mature and very like loving, compassionate. She's the Queen of Love. So in reverse, it's kind of the opposite of that, right? It's, <clears throat> kind of immature this is somebody who <clears throat> isn't super empathetic um they're more focused on what they're lacking with the queen of pentacles in reverse they're more focused on like they're just yeah they're they're lacking in the love department or like you're just feeling like you're not they're not worth your time or your energy, right? They're, they're broke ass. <laughs> they're broke, unfeeling, manipulative. That's kind of the energy that's coming through with this. They don't want to work for what they get. They just kind of want life to kind of give it. And they might be trying to get that from you. Um, and you might be a little up in the air because they're manipulation tactics um can be very uh convincing right and so i do feel that like you could be yeah like you might go back and forth with this person <clears throat> my advice is to cut that shit off right king of swords right whether you're male or female it doesn't matter king of swords that divine masculine energy is very analytical we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us right it represents like the left and right side of the brain the creative and the analytical um like the masculine is the energy of doing the feminine is the energy of being so what i'm seeing here is that you're really tapping into your divine masculine whether you're whatever the fuck your gender is does not matter okay like that ain't that you know on the energetic uh realm right we're genderless if that makes sense right our energy is genderless it's the physical body that holds gender um so our energy holds both the divine masculine and divine feminine we can tap into either energy at any point um so if that makes sense i hope that makes sense <laughs> like like how do i make sense of this so what is your advice from spirit in regards to this i gave you my personal advice um sometimes spirit <laughs> is like you know has more to say on that your advice King of Cups, your advice is to be compassionate, to not allow this energy to disturb your ability to be loving, to not allow this energy to um, to bring you into a lower vibration because it shows that you're very mature, that you're very compassionate, you're very loving, very empathetic, right? And you could be attracting a narcissist because of that, un unfortunately. Um, but your advice is to stay loving. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean to be with us, if that makes sense, right? It means be forgiving, be compassionate, be mature about the situation, like be understanding um, that some people just don't know any better. That's just the way that they are raised and the way that they're brought up to think. Not everyone's going to be as 
logical as an air sign, right? Damn, Gemini. You're getting all the cards today. Eight of Swords. There's something that you don't see coming yet. Um... And with the Nine of Cups, it looks like wish fulfillment. It looks like like something's really gonna come full circle for you. And I feel like you might be in the energy of not really seeing that. You might not be, like right now you might be like, focused on what didn't work out. And it's saying that like, have gratitude in your current energy because I see you getting wish fulfillment. Um, <clears throat> Five of Swords, I think you really need to protect your energy at this time. Um, I feel that somebody is trying to, like, manipulate or use you in some way. And, it, and you're really being called to protect your energy. With the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, they're trying to block your blessings, right? Um, and by that, I mean, like, if, for example, like... You're a wealthy person, they want that for themselves without earning it, right? So they're um, going to try to manipulate you out of something. Um, and so you're really being called to protect your energy and to perhaps even cut this individual off. I feel like you know intuitively who I'm talking about, right? You know their face came to mind the second I started talking about them. Um, Six of Wands, I see that you are well known, right? Like you get a lot of recognition, people admire you, people see you as somebody who is worth something, right? Like uh, this could also be like you being in the spotlight, you could be a public figure, um, or just really well known. So, which makes sense for Gemini. Like, every Gemini I know is kind of like in the spotlight in their own area of expertise, you know? We have Three of Cups in reverse, and I feel like your advice here is to not be overindulgent, uh, perhaps in alcohol, right? Three of Cups is a lot about alcohol. If you notice, they're all cheersing, they're all drinking together. So, like, you might be called to not be overindulgent. You might even be called to go into, like, hermit mood and maybe, like, decline some social events and stuff. Protect your energy is what it's saying. And sometimes that requires us to be a little uh, reclusive. <laughs> uh, Seven of Pentacles, I see a lot of blessings coming your way. And this is part of it, right? Um, part of protecting what's coming towards you, right? It's harvest season, so um, not literally like fall but i mean for you it's your harvest season so i see a lot of good things coming your way and it's saying like protect your energy protect your resources don't be so quick to let people know like what you're getting kind of move in silence you know if you start making a lot of money don't tell people that you're making a lot of money live below your means you know keep that under wraps <laughs> um because what I'm seeing here is that, like, people may try to manipulate or use you or, you know, try to get in the way between you and your blessings that are coming in for you. Um, I do see another energy coming in that is the opposite of this Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, this is the Queen of Wands. She, Wands represents honest communications, right? The queen of honest communications. This is somebody who is very fiery. It could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, this is somebody who... The queen of wands is the most attractive queen in the entire deck. So I see, like, a very attractive uh, individual coming towards you. This is somebody who is, like, very creative... Uh, somebody who ignites your inspiration. Somebody that you might even feel, like, kind of lustful towards, right? Like, they might ignite your, like, your sexual passions. You might feel, a little, like, you know, drawn in that way towards this person. I mean, yeah. 
The Queen of Wands is very powerful, very in their powerful, or in their power. And, like, if you're looking for a power couple, this is the ideal person to have that with because they're a leader in their own right. They want to establish their themselves before they, like, get into connection. They don't, they're not the kind of person that's going to try to use you. Instead, like... They're bringing their own shit to the table. They're like, I got mine. <laughs> like, I see you got yours. It's like equally yoked. You know, this is somebody who is equally yoked with you. Somebody who, um, who isn't trying to use or manipulate you. Somebody who's honest, whose intentions are right there. Um, so I do see that coming in for you. I just opened it up to Seven of Cups. You know, this is a romantic option. to light here this is Pisces energy something's coming to light um something that you didn't know with that eight of swords is what you didn't see before you will see soon this is like uh foreshadowing for something that it's kind of going to be very unexpected for you even after this reading like I feel like um like you might think it's going to go one way but then it's going to kind of hit you out of left field, well, left field, you know, and so, uh, I feel that, uh, yeah, like, expect the unexpected, and I don't know how to really put that into words, because even after this reading, I don't feel like you're going to know exactly what it is, and it's like, sometimes the universe wants to surprise you, um, because you've earned it, right, you work hard for it. Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles tells me that you've freaking earned your place. You've earned what you get. So, um, you earn these blessings. You earn this love interest. You earn what's coming towards you. So, I kind of want to know <laughs> at least an idea of what this unexpected energy is. This is something that you probably were like, oh, no, that's not possible for me. Um... But it is, and it's showing up. Upon looking at this card, that song, A Perfect Sonnet by Bright Eyes came to my mind where that line where he's like, Lately I've been wishing I had one desire, something that would make me never want another, something that would make it so that nothing matters, all would be clearer then. But I guess I'll have to settle for a few brief moments. Sorry. <laughs> but no, just that first line, though. I said, um, I feel that with the Seven of Wands in reverse, you're going to find that thing that makes you not want another option, right? Lately I've been wishing I had one desire, something that would make me never want another. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Wands in reverse. It's like, you're not, when this comes in, you're not going to want another option. You're not going to be window shopping for what's around the corner. It's like, this is going to really be it. With the Six of Pentacles, this is a balance of give and take. Right? This is like somebody who is equally yoked with you. This is somebody who meets you halfway. Somebody who makes you feel seen, heard, validated. And not that you need validation from them. But they give you a lot of reassurance about their feelings. About um, their intentions with you. Like there's not confusion or a lack of clarity in that regard. Two of Pentacles. You will have a decision to make. 
right? The mountains in the background represent all that you had to overcome to get to this place. Um, and also with the Six of Pentacles, if you notice, he's got the scales of balance. So whoever this is, this is somebody who balances you out, somebody who makes you feel balanced, somebody who like really makes you feel at peace. Kind of beautiful. I like that. I love that for you. What is this two of pentacles? So, I'm seeing Ace of Wands, right? Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. I'm seeing Seven of Swords. Ah, ah I'm holding a word. Seven of Swords, <laughs> um, which tells me you still need to be protective of your energy of, because like, there's still other people in your energy who are going to be manipulative and deceitful. Follow your intuition because, you know, like, I feel like there's going to be one fake and one real, if that makes sense. Like, somebody that you've been dealing with already is kind of that fake manipulative energy. And then somebody that is coming in in your near future. And so I feel like you're really going to have to decide on what this passionate new beginning is for you. Do you want the past or do you want the future, right? Nine of Pentacles tells me that you will be very established by yourself. Like, I mean, not saying that you're going to be by yourself, but I'm saying that you're, this is self-made energy. That's what I'm trying to say. This is self-made energy. Like, you, you've worked hard. You've acquired a lot for yourself. But the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you are resourceful you're going to be like like money is not going to be a problem for you um with the ace of pentacles this is the largest pentacle in the deck right and this is like i mean you could be getting like an inheritance or winning the lottery or something crazy like that or a new job opportunity or something that's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you also, with the Ace of Pentacles, this represents a new cycle, right? A new way of living, a way of life that you have not lived before. It's different from any way that you've ever experienced life. And I feel that ultimately your decision is you're not going to decide on the the familiar past. I feel like you're going to decide on this new individual coming in who brings you peace, right? That just kind of makes sense to you. Not somebody who constantly leaves you feeling used or unseen or misunderstood. All right, I'm going to pull some Kali cards. <clears throat> now that song is stuck in my head. It's bittersweet, too, when you do find that person that makes you not want another uh, bittersweet and and I feel like that's something that I should like let you know sorry my ankles itchy um but yeah so because sometimes like When you get to that point of finding somebody that you, that just is it, 
you know, and where you just don't have it, like, you won't have eyes for other people, right? You might have your natural flirtatious energy, but when it comes down to brass tacks, you're not really open to other individuals, and that's something that, like, once you fall into that, I don't feel like there's coming out of it, right? Like, I haven't come out of it. <laughs> it's like quicksand, but it's quicker, <laughs> okay? Like, you're stuck. <laughs> um, so I just want to let you know, like, when you when you reach that point and you meet that person, um, that or perhaps if you've already met them, it's like any other option just pales by comparison. And you just won't even give it the time of day because you know inside yourself what is right for you. You know, you know inside of yourself like what you truly want and what, you know, makes sense for you. And it can be challenging. But also it can be beautiful and Nothing is more clear and not confusing than that. Um, so, Sri Bala. Commit entirely and without hesitation to your most passionate inspirations. Their genius and wisdom in what you yearn to do. You have a greater capacity to attain fruition than those around you may recognize. Believe in yourself even if no one else does. It is not imagination that drives you toward your destiny but the instinctive recognition of your true purpose. Let's see if there's anything else he wants to say to you. Nope, that's it. <laughs> All right, so that's what I have for you. Namaste, I love you guys, and I'll see you later.